this sideways, you'd realize that this is the high end, that's the low end, and this is on a hill. So we have a rail on a hill between two magnets. Now, we're going to take a golf ball. It's the regular golf ball. That's a golf ball. Golf ball. Okay, now, golf balls, of course, are not going to be in any way affected by these magnets. If I drop that golf ball on my rail, we find that this is the high side, that's the low side. Why? Because balls roll uphill. I can push it up the hill, it'll stop and roll back down the hill. So the golf ball is proving to us that we do indeed have a hill here. This is the high side, that's the low side, this is two magnets. Now, we're going to take something a little bit different. We're going to take a little magnetic bearing, a little um, a metal bearing. So this metal bearing would definitely be affected by magnets. I can prove that to you by showing you that's the magnet I had, that's the bearing. So now we have a different situation. Now this time, instead of taking the ball, putting it at the top of the hill and letting it roll down to the bottom of the hill, <clears throat> we're going to take our metal ball, put it at the bottom of the hill, and let it roll up the hill. Did you ever see a ball roll up a hill? Did you ever see that? Of course you did. You just saw it. I'm going to show it to you again. Put the ball right at the bottom of the hill, and the ball now will roll up to the top of the hill. All right? So the magnets are pulling a ball up. It's relating to these magnets on the top and bottom. And when I pull this out of the way, it's going to release. Uh, it's not going to hold it anymore. And this armature is going to now, on a horizontal plane, go all the way around 360 degrees and come back and actually do some work at the end of that travel. So just to, again, to show you another illustration of magnets doing work, here we go. I'm going to just take this out of the way and no longer hold the armature. So it not only went all the way around, but it also did work on the end. Now, I've got a small demonstration of that right here where I just, the same thing, a little wooden armature. I have a little peg. I can take that out. When I take the peg out, it goes all the way around 360 degrees and does work at the end. Same thing.